How's it going YouTube? Patrick Sits here. It has been a while. Yes, I have not done a video in, gosh, since the Nationals, that little 15 second snippet or whatever showing off the uh, Lewis Hamilton purple, but you know, it is what it is. But um, I wanted to just do a video, just thank everybody. Like I hit a thousand subscribers somehow, just added about like 30 or so subs in the past month and I haven't even been doing um, any videos at all so just wanted to say real thank you and uh, kind of I just decided I'd um, I was gonna go over like I guess I've been kind of collecting cards since about the end of 2019 is when I got into sports cards so I was going to do my top 10, but then I was going through my cards and I was like, I ended up at like 20 and then 30. So I have 30 cards here to like my favorite cards that I have in my collection. I was just going to show them. People have asked me to kind of show my collection some. I, you know, I'll post stuff on Instagram and, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, hopefully it doesn't seem like it's bragging or something like that because I, I know that's a lot of what sports cards is. But, you know, it's just I just like to share what I like in the hobby and what I'm doing lately. One of the reasons I haven't um, posted any videos, I just haven't been opening any products. There's just nothing out there, in my opinion right now, that is worth opening up. Like, singles are just... I kind of feel like singles is the way to go in the in the uh, market now with everything being so bad. So, like everything's just you know you, there's a lot of good deals out there if you can find them. And I apologize, I kind of getting over. Uh, I've had this lingering cough for about the last week, so hopefully I don't cough too much. But anyway, so I want to go over my 30 favorite cards, and then I am going to open up a box of 2006. Um, one of the ones, I, one of the products I did take a bath on, I paid like, I think 4000 for each of my three boxes. I want to say they're maybe 1500 I think they're 2000 on Blowout, but I'm sure they saw a lot less than that on eBay or whatever. So just to go through some of the cards, um, some of my favorites. Um, so it might be kind of a long video, I apologize, but you know, I just kind of want to take my time. Got the Kylian Mbappe, Red Velocity, my friend Austin over at um, uh, US Soccer Breaks, but he's now actually with Cyrus. Um, he's going to be doing Soccer Breakers FC East as he's on the East Coast, Cyrus is on the um, West Coast. So that's kind of cool to see for him. Actually, jersey number, I believe. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I actually had to submit this twice to get the 10, but you know, it is what it is. Recent purchase, actually, I was going to do a video on some of my recent purchases, but one of the cards is stuck at eBay authentication, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I went ahead and bought this. Uh, I never pulled a color Mbappe refractor out of four cases. The, that was basically when I got into soccer. I bought four cases of Chrome UEFA 2017-18 for $600 each and opened all four of them. Um, didn't hit one color Mbappe in the entire um, in the entire four cases, but I did get some other good stuff. So you know, so there's Mbappe. Um, got that on eBay recently. I think it's around $1,500. So I thought it was a good price. I thought about getting a 10, but then we got uh, Vinicius Junior rookie rated rookie. Um, gold die cut out of 10 i never did hit the gold uh regular version the optic but did hit this got a 10 cyrus over at uh soccer breakers fc pulled that for me another card he pulled for me and this is like one of my really big first hits that i ever hit real madrid quad got this out of 2018 donruss the first real madrid purchase i did for like a, ha a case or a half case or something i think it was a case and uh, he hit this for me, pretty crazy. You know, obviously you got you know Ronaldo, Michael Owen, Raul, Luis Figo. One of my favorite cards. Never gonna sell it. Uh, then we got Erling Brot Holland, Austin over at um, what is now Soccer Breakers FC. Pulled this for me. Didn't realize what we had when I pulled it. We, you know, it was like the first week of release. Nobody really knew what the fusions were. Based on the pack odds, this card's the ten. Um, it got a nine. I sent it back to PSA. I got an eight and then I sent it back again. I got a nine. There is surface damage like a bubble over here. So I, I should have been okay with the first nine. So sorry, pop report is a little bit off, uh, at least by two. Um, another Holland card. 
One of the most slept on Holland cards, in my opinion, is the short print. I really wish they would have put SP on this, but uh, this is the extended base from 2019 Finest US um, uh, Champions League. So a really cool card there. I think Cyrus actually hit that for me as well. My final uh, box of 2019 Chrome UCL. I didn't hit any good autos and like probably opened about three cases. Ended up um, having a loose box. It was sitting around forever. Open it up and bam, hit this. Again, uh, I got a PSA 9 when I first graded it. I cracked it and sent it back. I know I hate to say I've done that a lot, but it's worked out for me. I hate I hate having to do that stuff, but um, ended up with uh, um, card grade was a 10, auto was a 10. Honestly, don't even know how I got a nine at first. Crazy to me. Um, one of my favorite cards, um, I don't have a lot of Beckett stuff. There's like, I think four cards in all these 30 of that are Beckett, I'm mainly PSA. But I ended up getting a PSA nine on this and I cracked it and I got three PSA nines of Sapphire. I cracked them and sent them into um, Beckett. Ended up getting a uh, pristine 10, unfortunately, half grade off of a black label, which would have been amazing. But at the last time I looked, and this is probably about six months or so ago, these were about, I think there was a 23. I'm sure there's a lot more than that now, but really cool card. Um, actually, it's out on eBay for like five grand. I don't want to sell it, but if someone wants it hard enough, you know, it's not worth that, but it is what it is. Um, one of my favorite messy cards um, from the, uh, the short print. These were case hits in 2017, Topps Chrome. They'll say UCL now, but back then they used to put UEFA when I got these graded. Um, I think they say UCL now, but uh, of my four cases, I hit, I think it was two Ronaldo and like two Pulisic or something like that. I never hit the Messi, so at least I got that. Then we got another Messi here, my only Messi autograph, which I want to get, um, definitely want to pick up one at some point. Uh, uh, Cyrus hit this for me. Um, really beautiful card. Unfortunately, got the nine, but I kind of figured it would due to the, the lightning strike. The centering is weird on these. I think the actual centering is okay. It's just the design of the card is that way, but you know, it is what it is. My only messy rookie was a, um, I kind of like having this and the Ronaldo, like I bought them both raw. I just kind of like, you know, obviously at some point in time, I'll probably try to get like a, you know, PSA 10 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I want to drop a hundred grand on a card, but um, maybe a higher grade, maybe like a PSA 8 or something like that, which I'd be perfectly fine with. But bought this raw from a guy out of Spain, I think, for like a thousand bucks. Got it graded, got a four. So these have gone down quite significantly, but I love it. It's an awesome card. And I, I like how cards like that probably have a history, you know. They're probably some kid's car. That's why they're all, you know, it's got corner dings and everything. This is one of my favorite cards in my collection. It's 2014 Prison World Cup. Um, I want to say I paid a couple grand for this, like right before they kind of blew up. And uh, I was going to pop it and send it in to PSA, but with surface of a nine, four nines, if it had like two tens, maybe I would send it in. But honestly, I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin it. Um, I actually did uh, crack a Ronaldo at one point and I pinched it. It was a silver prism. I don't think it was going to get a PSA 10 anyway, but I should have never cracked it. So, matchup card. Then we have Ronaldo. Mint 6. I think I paid like $1,000 for this. Got it raw. The dude sent it to me like, I'm not even kidding. No top loader or anything. He basically sent it to me in not even a sleeve. He basically took like a 9. It was in a 9 pocket binder. And he just cut out the binder and sent it to me in an envelope. Like, seriously. I could not believe this card did not just get wrecked. Um, one of my favorite cards. I most of the Ronaldo stuff I collect is Real Madrid. So um, one of the uh, uh, tie dies to thirty PSA ten. I haven't checked the pops on these in some time, so I don't know how um, how many there are. I'm sure there's only a couple of those in a ten. Uh, Equalizers gold. Um, this again was pulled for me from Cyrus. 4 out of 10. I'll probably pick up the pace here. I don't want to go too crazy. Mint 9, Silver. I want to add a Messi at some point. I just haven't pulled the trigger on one yet. So, um, this is the second one I had. The other one I had 9, I popped it and um, I uh, I 
caught the corner or something like that it um the way it broke it just just screwed it up i ended up selling that on ebay and taking a loss for it um short print from 2017 i had two or three of these at one point i had all the psa 10s at one point i think i sold one of them for like two or three thousand dollars or something crazy so pulled this myself um gold refractor ronaldo i don't even know what you would put a value on this to me it's priceless because it is jersey number seven out of 50 pulled this out of a case myself that was pretty sweet uh galactic ronaldo i honestly thought this was going to get a psa 9 because i kind of thought the edges here were a little bit suspect but it was i guess it was enough and we ended up with a 10 it's a weak 10 but it's a 10 um because there is some very minor light edge you can kind of almost see it but you know it is what it is i love it and along those lines you got the disco which these are numbered to 25 got the psa 10 of that one off the jersey number is eight and then one of the really slept on cards is the hyper hyper plaid because galactic is so popular just like the name of it and everything the hyper plaid is a beautiful card and i think there's only about 15 of these i think on the pack odds these are case hits these are two per case so if there's 15 of these there's probably 30 of these very underrated card then we have the Cristiano Ronaldo, my buddy Austin. I'm sure people have seen this card many a time. Um, my buddy Austin pulled that for me out of a break. I miss breaking with them, but uh, unfortunately their prices are pretty high. So ever since the FIFA Twitch invasion um, that just brought in a ton of soccer people, it was just nuts. And they just all spend money and they don't really understand value. Sorry, guys, but it's true. You really don't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, one of one. My only Man United uh, Ronaldo card, I think, that's graded. Then probably my favorite Ronaldo card. I don't know. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, the Immaculate. Um, it is player-worn. It's not match-worn. So probably just stuck that on there. Obviously, it's the uh, Fly Emirates um, portion of the probably like, what is that? Maybe the, I don't know, maybe an R or something like that, whatever. But anyway, on card. Ronaldo autograph, beautiful card right there. And then some of the F1 stuff that I've been doing. Lando Norris, big fan of his. PSA 9s are pretty good in Sapphire. Um, so picked that one up like a couple months ago. And then we got the George Russell. I did just purchase a Max Verstappen for about $3,000 on eBay. But it's been like two weeks to get to me because of the eBay authentication thing, which is absolute nightmare. But, you know, it is what it is, whatever. So I'll have that soon. Uh, some of the short prints I have, Max Verstappen, I bought this raw. Um, these have gone down a lot. Um, but still sick card. I'll probably upgrade that at some point. I would like to get at least like a PSA 9. Then we have the Lewis Hamilton. Um PSA 8. I this I bought this as a BGS 8, I think, for like two grand. I sold a ten a nine for eight thousand dollars last year. And which kind of I hate to take credit for it. Well, I I kind of did. So I just threw it out on eBay for a crazy amount because there's only like four PSA nines at that, and this dude just bought it for eight grand. So I was like, okay, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, the card's value just went up nuts all the way to sixteen thousand for a PSA nine. And thirty thousand for PSA ten, and now they're probably worth half that. I mean, the the value on these has gone down a lot. This is you have to watch it when people pump cards, man. You have to really watch it in this hobby. And then pulled this myself. Uh, this is the Lewis Hamilton Sapphire. I think there's only four of these that got a PSA ten. Mine was the first one, I believe. I could be wrong. It was. Me and one other, maybe. I can't remember which one was first, but, you know, I, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, so beautiful card there. One of my favorites. Honestly, it's kind of that card is actually more of my favorite than this next card. Um, just because I like the color match. I think it's really cool. And I pulled it myself. Um, this one, I just I did show this at the National when I was uh, when I did that small video. I was hoping for a nine, but with the edge damage that's so common with Sapphire, it's almost like PSA immediately goes for an eight. Like just everything else about this card was just absolutely amazing. That's not in the case. Oh, oh, it's just a glare. Okay, so Scott over at um, Pirates Card Castle pulled that for me. Probably about a thirty thousand dollar card right now. Um, they've gone down quite significantly, and Lewis is not having the best year too. 
And then my last card is, I think this is 30th, so. Paid 3,000 and joined a break and ended up with this sick puppy. Bam, Lewis Hamilton, two of two. So if you look at this M right here, it's essentially this part on uh, Lewis's uniform. And then this is, uh, I can't remember where, but beautiful card, beautiful card. It was super incredible when I hit that from two bros. He actually hit a Max Verstappen right before the Lewis. And I was just like, okay, I paid three grand for Lewis. I almost paid two grand for Max. I wish I had, he pulled a zipper and uh, it was pretty amazing. But, you know, last card, I mean, the case was like, it was Lewis, um, Max, I want to say a George Russell as well. It was a nuts case. The uh, cases for Dynasty were just crazy last year. All right, let's get into this thing. So, what are we looking for? I did have a recent PSA grade come back of this stuff and did not do well at all. So, let's go ahead and get in here. Um, I do have a PSA 9 of both the uh, Messi and Ronaldo. Would love to have a 10, but those have gone down significantly. I mean, these cards were, those cards were like, I want to say people were paying $20,000 for the Messi and Ronaldo at some point, the PSA 10s, and now they're like, like two, three thousand dollars $3,000. Like, it's absolutely crazy how much these have come down. So we're gonna have to be kind of careful here. I love the foils in this as well. Um, some really, really nice foil cards. So right off the bat, Arjun Roban. Okay, so you have about um, about a 50% chance to get both Messi and Ronaldo in a box. And it looks like we got Wikrila May, I guess. I don't know. Somebody was telling me he was like really good. So um, I can't remember when that was, but you know, I, I really wasn't watching soccer much in 2006. I honestly only started watching soccer. I kind of played all my life and I only started watching soccer in 2010 World Cup. I'd always just played soccer before then. So pretty crazy. So Landon Donovan, it's a nice one. And over and Tunisia. So we're looking for, you know, Zidane foil, um, Ronaldo foil, Brazilian Ronaldo. There's a Roberto Carlos. It's a nice card. Uh, obviously, like Beckham, Wayne Rooney's in this. A lot of really good, a uh, lot of really good guys. But obviously, what you want is the Ronaldo and the, um, okay, Crespo. Maybe it's Crespo that somebody was talking about. But maybe that's a good sign. We're hitting all these Argentina guys. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll get a Messi. So... Yeah, these boxes went as high. Whoa, look at that. Boom. Third pack in. Or is that fourth pack? Where are we at? Nice. Sweet. Right on the front, baby. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Get that in the sleeve. Sweet. All right, I don't feel, I, I feel, that the rest of the box is pretty much gravy at this point. I mean, you know, like obviously I would like to get a Ronaldo, but it was close. And a lot of the uh, Michael Owen, nice one there, and Togo. But I mean, that like, that, that that's huge right there, you know. At least like you get a PSA 10 and you essentially paid for the box. And that looks like a really nice card, a really nice card. So I'll be sending that into PSA. Fabio Canavero. Park uh, Jisung. Okay. Ah, oh, I thought I, I, for a second there. I was like, all right, who do we got here? Nice. Ronaldinho. The Brazilian sensation. That's a huge one right there too. That's very nice. So if I like my perfect box of this would be uh, Ronaldinho, Messi, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, Zidane, like I get, I get all those guys. I'll be super happy. I'll be super happy. I'm pretty happy with this right now, but we got Gilardio. Okay. We need to get a, Tevez and these cards are very hard to grade. Very hard to grade. The team cards, the foil ones, really, really hard to grade. All right. So, 
I mean, you have to think this box is like what 2006 14 15 16 year old box very cool just so happy to hit that mess even Raphael Vandervart because I did open one um, box of this and I didn't hit a Messi and Ronaldo and then I opened up the second one nice caca another nice one there the Brazilian team uh, just amazing in this obviously you know you got caca you got Ronaldinho you got uh, um, Ronaldo just amazing oh, look at Messi so young so young Wish I had been watching him then, and Ronaldo for that matter, but you know, it is what it is. Steve Gerard, Gerard, there's Portugal, with a little baby Ronaldo there when he was number 17, I think. There he is, right above Figo. So, all right, need some more foils, need to hit a Ronaldo. Yeah, so my last submission of this was um, 25 cards. Like I did really well with the foils in my first submission. That was like Zidane and all those guys. And the next one, like, we just got absolutely hammered. I think I hit two tens out of like 25 cards. What do we got here? Oh, nice. Ronaldo. There we go. Nice. Sweet. Is that corner kind of? I have to check that out. But... Wow, we're hitting all the Brazilians. It's a, it's a South America box right now. Certainly, certainly. All right, so not even halfway through. And we've also, we've already got some really good stuff in here. We just need Zidane and we need uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. And we'll be happy. Henri would be nice too. I, I, I pulled two of uh, Henri and both of them got PSA 9s. I'm like, oh. I uh, really wanted him as a 10. I like him. He's like, he's one of my favorite analysts because he's not, um, I don't think he's that, uh, he's just not really that biased. I mean, obviously he likes Barcelona, Barcelona and Arsenal, but a lot of the other guys that they have talking Champions League football. All right, let's see who we got. Oh, Toti. Okay. But a lot of other guys, like, um, what are the, what's the guy's name? The, one of the guys is a Liverpool guy, and the other guy is a Man City guy. And they're just so annoying, especially as a Real Madrid fan. They were just horrible. they just, no chance. Jamie Gallagher, I think, is the guy's name. What an ass. Sorry, but he is. I love how Ronaldo just snubbed him. Gary Neville. I hate these uniforms. Like, they must have like not probably didn't have their license or something like that. Um, USA. All right, where are you at, Ronaldo? And like I said, you have about about a ninety-seven. I, I've watched like so many box breaks of this of what Cyrus did. I think I watched about forty boxes of this, and I worked out you have about a ninety-seven percent chance that you're going to get a Ronaldo or a Messi, and about a fifty percent chance that you get both of them. So it's very odd to not get it, it's it's hard not to get both of them, but it does it can it does happen, or not get one or the other. I mean, sorry, but hey, we did get the Portugal team card, but obviously that's not what we want. We still got lots of cards to open up. All right, and it looks like we got a foil. Who is it? It Buffon. Nice one there. We'll take that. We'll take that. We need Zidane. Um, Zlatan would be nice. And Ronaldo, Beckham. Still lots of good stuff in this. And Mexico. Ooh. All right. Come on. Where are you at, Ronaldo? Where are you at, Zidane? I need you guys. Korea and Rude Van Nisselrooy. Still a cult card. Former Real Madrid guy. And I, I believe he's at Man United too, right? For a time. Wasn't he? I don't know. Somebody can correct me. I wasn't watching at that point in time. So. Japan. 
All right, what do we got? How many more packs? One, two, three, seven packs left. All right, where are you at, Ronaldo? That would be odd. Like, I'd, I'd be over the moon if I got a Ronaldo and a Messi and then hit tens on both of them. I mean, I would just be ecstatic. But we got to get that Ronaldo first before we have a chance. So, Italia and Figo. All right, maybe Portugal is uh, coming up here. I do like the metal uh, Messi and Ronaldo from uh, 2010 as well. I have a um, Ronaldo in a PSA 10, but I don't have Messi yet. So that's definitely on my list as well. Santos, all right. Philip Lom, and Iran. All right, come on. I'm pretty happy with this box anyway. I mean, it hit the three big Brazilians and Messi. Can't, can't ask for much more than that. Yeah. Oh, what a tease. Oh, what a tease. That guy always gets me, man. Always gets me. There's Latan. Nice. I never did pull him out of the other two uh, boxes. So that's the first one of him I pulled. So super sweet. All right. Can we get Zidane and Ronaldo? That's what we want. Zidane and Ronaldo. This guy's name is Young Poo. Trezeguet. And nothing. Three more packs to go. Let me see that Portugal. Of course, it is Portugal, just not the guy we're wanting. And ah, I was hoping it was going to be um, Zidane, but Zevchenko. So I think we did really well. Two more packs to go. So can we do it? Last pack magic after this one, or maybe in this one, something good. Dolsky and France. All right, last pack. What can we get? Come on. Where are you at, Ronaldo? Show your face. Number 17. I don't like our odds. And oh, we do have a, um, a metal card foil. Ashley Cole. Doesn't look like Ronaldo is going to show up. Let it be Zidane. Oh, it's not. It is Peter Check, which I don't think we've got him yet. That's pretty cool. We'll take that. We will take that. So, no Ronaldo, but I am happy with that box. Um, I mean, look at this. You know, the three Brazilians, Zlatan, Ibrahimovic, well, Swedish there, but then you had Kaká, Ronaldo, and Ronaldinho. I'll definitely be sending those away to get graded. And then the uh, big card, obviously, Lionel Andres Messi. Beautiful card, too. I think this maybe has a really good shot of gemming. But honestly, you never know with these things, man. It's, uh, it's, it's hard. It's hard what, what PSA is going to see. But we'll put it in a uh, card saver. I'll probably pull it out and clean it some more. But I don't know if I want a chance. It's really easy to hit the edges on these and such. So... I don't know, but anyway, thanks for watching. Super happy about that box. Um, sorry it was a long video, but uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to go through my collection and just uh, you know, people have been asking me to kind of show some of my cards for some time, so I had to bring get those all out of the safe and everything too. So they're uh, they're going back in my safe. So, you know, it is what it is, and I just wanted to thank everybody for a thousand subscribers. It's been absolutely amazing. I never really started this. I honestly just kind of started this channel just to kind of have fun and record my collecting journey. I didn't never expect that I would get like a thousand subscribers or anything, but um, hopefully we can continue to build um, build the channel. You know, please like and subscribe if you are not subscribed, or follow me on Instagram. Love talking to people online. Love talking about soccer. Maybe you'll run into me at the Nationals next year or something like that. So, you know, it is what it is. And just, again, I just can't thank everybody enough. I love talking to everybody in the comments section. I try to respond as much as I possibly can. But 
again, thank you. Feel so blessed. And yeah, um, amazing box. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Should have some uh, PSA returns coming up soon, maybe in the next month or so. So we'll see. So yeah, uh, take care, and God bless.